Would you accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date? Hell the no. What's going on guys, Shot Clips here once again, and today I see some crazy clips of the worst dates I can find, and like always guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, but in this first one, it is absolutely absurd. This woman doesn't believe cheesecake is a good spot for her first date. Do not take me to no motherfucking cheesecake factory on no first date. First date is supposed to be an experience, okay? I want an experience. I need ambiance. Asking dancers, okay? Because they've been on the internet tearing me down about a cheesecake factory. So I want to know... Would you accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date? Hell the fuck no. Make a thousand dollars every night. Why the fuck would you take me to a, a fifty dollar ass restaurant? It's cheap. It's cheap. Go be cheap with a cheap bitch. <laughs> Go be cheap with a cheap and bitch. You guys are cheap. You're literally all strippers. Why do you think you deserve to be taken out somewhere nicer when people are just throwing singles at you? Fifty dollars is actually more than enough for a first date, especially for these two. I'm not sure who's increasing their value in their head, but they're not high valued women. What do we have here? Looks like I have a little visitor. You may kiss my boots. Thank you, goddess. <laughs> now, this is the disgusting incel stuff I see online all the time. I'm not sure why men do this to themselves. It's definitely a mental illness, in my opinion. And this is the reason why a lot of women do OnlyFans. Because men like this will just make it so easy for them. I really wish there was some volume in this clip, but regardless, I guess she's gonna be left with a bill. How long were you engaged? About eight months, and then I called the wedding off like a month or a few weeks before our hopes paid for wedding. How two weeks before? So everything was planned. Paid for. He was great, you guys. He was perfect on paper, literally. Like, and I was like, I needed to do this because everyone else is getting married around me. Oh, I better keep up, right? Months go by, we're planning this wedding, right? How am I gonna do this? Like, I'm not being true to myself. Like, this is so unauthentic. Like, what am I gonna do? He also had, um, yeah. Mental health issues? A small, uh. um, it's like not that small, but it was like definitely not. Imagine turning down your entire wedding and getting married all because you just want to pursue OnlyFans. This woman wanted to make it seem like there was more to her life and there was more she wanted to do and even blame the man for what he had down there. But let's all be honest here. You're just a 304 and you actually just want to experience more men. It's like, where are the men though? I don't feel like in your 30s, mm -hmm. you should have to deal with some of the things that you are dealing with. Women of our caliber were educated well-traveled, we got hobbies and shit, mm -hmm. we got our own money, we got our, you know what I mean? Like, where are the men that are on that status? They call her the cat. Men in that caliber who are well-traveled and making a lot of money are not pursuing women at the age of 30. They're pursuing women much younger than you, and that's why you don't see them. Chanel purses, uh, y'all know what that costs. Have you expensed a gift the same price of a Chanel purse to a man ever? Yes or no? The answer is no. My point is, we are giving you tangible things because that's what we love to do and we like to do and that's what y'all like. So the closest thing to tangible in the most part is physically giving us your body. Mm -hmm. When you have a good man, our reward is sexual exclusivity. I'm sorry, I don't agree with this logic. He's trying to make it seem like if a man is buying you things or paying for your things, like paying for a day, in return, the woman should give up her body because that's an even transaction. That's just stupid incel logic. If you are gifting and paying for a woman who doesn't really like you, that's completely your fault. Just because you paid for the day or bought her things doesn't mean she needs to do anything with you. This streamer identifies as a dog. Are we going on a walk? 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 Meow Dallin says she sleeps in a cage, eats dog treats, and even poops outside. Do you wipe it on the grass? Sometimes. It, I have before. Uh, typically, though, you know, it's either raining or something, so I, I gotta get over myself and I gotta use the human toilet, I guess. Instead of a boyfriend, the streamer says she has a handler. Do you have a boyfriend? Handlers. They feed me, they take me on walks. When you do have sex, is it only doggy style or do you do human things? Now, people will fall for this and actually believe this is how she actually acts behind the scenes, but to be honest, she doesn't. She's just doing this for the cameras and the show because she's trying to show off her OnlyFans. Some guys will actually like this and get a kink off of this. I don't see why. All this publicity, regardless, is definitely helping her out. Hey, babe, what you doing? Cooking salmon and asparagus. Ooh. All right, I gotta go. Don't burn the kitchen down. Love you. Love you too. 
Well, goddamn. Where would you take me on a first date? One and only spot I can take anyone on the first date is the kitchen, yo. That's a great idea! Yeah, I'm sorry for this husband. I would run far, far away and just not turn around. I think that's mud on the floor. I knew this little question was gonna come up. <laughs> yes, I was married when I met my current husband on TikTok. I'll explain. My relationship with my ex-husband was more of a friendship. That's a great justification for cheating. Thing. We both met when we were in really lonely places in our late 30s. We both wanted a family. We had a lot in common and we had met in elementary school. So we felt really safe with each other. But we ignored the fact that there wasn't really a spark. <laughs> So when I met my current husband, there was this immediate connection, attraction. I felt very just, I don't know how to describe it. When it's a person, you just, you just kind of know. So within three days of meeting my current partner, I had to admit to myself and my ex. Three days. We're just friends. Three days. And I tore the bandaid and now we're all great friends. And this is exactly why men just don't care about marriage anymore, simply because a woman can just change her mind, midway find someone else more attractive who just finds her attractive, and she'll justify it by saying, well, she didn't have a certain spark with her husband. And this is exactly why marriage vows don't make any sense anymore. Till death do us part. Yeah, clearly that's not a thing anymore. <laughs> If nobody wants to date single moms, how we all got boyfriends? Somebody is lying on his app because I will have my daughter in my arms and I will have somebody come ask me out. And I'll just be like, oh, well, like, you know, I got a kid, right? And I'm like, all right, cool. What kind of snacks you like? Dating a woman or dating a single mother is not the same as marrying them. Just because this guy is trying to date you or talk to you and get your number does not mean he wants to actually marry you. We was lit. And then he was not having it. You gotta act like you've been here before. Damn. I am an abortion fairy godmother. Here is my magic wand. Here is my sack full of abortion pills. And basically, you put a positive pregnancy test under your pillow and in the morning you wake up to abortion pills. I'm not sure how people can make jokes about abortion. It's a sick and sad thing. And even if you are pro-abortion, you shouldn't be joking about it like this. Who do you think should pay on the first date? Definitely not me. <laughs> man should always pay. Oh, oh my god, a man should always pay. No questions asked. Always or just always. on the first date? Always. always. Uh, men should pay for everything. That's Something we feel strongly on, Very. actually. Yeah, so you asked the right question. He's a 10, but he doesn't have a job. Oh, he's but a he minus have, nothing. Get out of bed. Unless he won the lottery and he's a millionaire, then that's fair enough. Not got a job. Get in the bin. Yeah. Go away. Yeah, it's a bit of an ick. Yeah. He's a 10, but he goes clubbing every weekend. He's a 10. Yeah. Get me involved. So do we. Yeah. Ten. The clubbing is absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now these girls clearly do not have a good head on their shoulders. They are sacrificing actual good morals for a guy who just makes a lot of money. And they don't even care how he makes it. And this is exactly why there's gonna be a lot of single mothers because they just don't know how to choose good men. I just got back from top five worst dates of my life. And yeah, I should have seen it coming. First red flag. He asked me if I wanted to go to Olive Garden. Um, yeah, I quickly curved that and suggested a place that was an Olive Garden. So we go to a food hall that I suggest, and I pick a different food stall than he picks, and he walks away when I stop to order my food, so basically I have to pay for my own food. What are we, 12? Like... I mean, I didn't ask myself on this date, right? You asked me out. At this point, I'm like, there's no salvaging this at all. Like, you're not serious. You're not my type. 
I will never understand the hate that Olive Garden gets. It's a great spot for a first date. They have great food and it's not super cheap either. But women with self-inflated egos like to make it seem like that's just too cheap for them like it's some kind of Applebee's. If you want a spot to eat at that's more expensive, then just get ready to pay because this guy is not a sim. And I guess he'd even find you attractive after the date. But that does wrap it up for you guys much watching. If you guys do more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.